guys, it's Keisha and I'm here to do a quick review of hair, skin, and nail peels and also to update on my second big chop. Um, a few months ago, I'd say in November, um, November of 2017, I decided to big chop my hair for the second time after experiencing heat damage. For the most part, my regrowth phase was going pretty well until I noticed uh, sometime at the end of January, early February, that I had a patch of hair right above my right temple that was um, kind of slowly but surely decreasing. The hair in the area just started falling out. Um, I'm not sure why. I still don't know why exactly. Um, but the hair in that area, about this size, this size area, um, started falling out and I really don't know why. Uh, still to this day, I'm not sure why. I don't know if it was from the heat damage or if it was something that was occurring on my scalp before the heat damage. But when I started, my hair started falling out in that area, I got a little concerned because I've never experienced hair loss to that magnitude along my my edges and um, so it was it was very worrisome so I have been exclusively protective styling since I big chopped for the second time and so I knew there wasn't anything externally that was causing it at least I didn't feel like it was so I said you know what let me try to help regrow this hair back in this area so I decided to try hair skin and nail pills um, this is not the first time I've tried this. I've tried biotin by itself before, and that was many years ago. I didn't really experience anything different with my hair then, but I decided to go ahead and give it another go this time to help out whatever was going on on my scalp in that area. So I just went on Amazon and looked through reviews and found uh, Nature Made's Hair, Skin, and Nail Pills. Um, it supports collagen synthesis with vitamin C. Um, it has biotin in it and biotin, vitamin A, vitamin C, zinc, and copper. Now, um, let me just give you guys my review. <laughs> as far as my nails, it didn't do anything for my nails. My nails have always been somewhat brittle. Um, at least my pointer finger, my middle finger, and my thumb are usually very brittle. For some reason, my ring finger and my pinky finger on both hands I have no issues growing the nails there but the other nails they just I don't know I'm just rough with my hands I guess and they break the nails break regardless so this this didn't do anything for my nails I saw no difference in my nails um, my skin um, went crazy it went crazy all of February um, all of February early March and I have oily skin anyway so I'm very acne prone to begin with and all of a sudden it just felt like my skin was just breaking out like crazy like two two new pimples every other day and that's unusual for me I mean I do have acne prone skin but it's never been like that but this was like every single week there was two or three new pimples on my face and I'm still trying to recover from the acne scarring um, that I have now from that um, now my hair my hair um, I don't know if it if it worked for it but I will say that my that patch has grown in and I'll show you guys pictures um, so you could see the before and how bad it was getting I'll show you guys when I first big chopped how that area looked and then I'll show you how the area started to once my hair started growing in that area started the hair started shedding in that area and I'll also show you guys what it looks like now so you can see uh, the progress that was made I hope that this helped. I have taken about 90% of the bottle. There were 120 in here. And I probably have about two weeks worth left. Um, to be honest with you guys though, I probably won't finish this bottle. It'll probably just sit in the cabinet. And uh, because the acne, the acne issue was just too much for me. I could not take it or handle it. It was so frustrating. I probably won't take any hair, skin, and nail pills for a while because of just, it does nothing for my skin. It just, it actually does the opposite of what you want for your skin is what it does to my skin. And I, I think that that's, you know, that's not uncommon. A lot of women say that they have issues with that when they take hair, skin, and nail pills. 
So um, yeah, I can't say 100% for certain if this helped grow that spot back, um, but maybe it did, I don't know. I'll figure out some other vitamin combination for my hair um, from now on. Uh, yeah, but my hair is progressing since my uh, last video that I showed you guys about my second big chop. It is getting fuller, it is getting longer. My coils and curls are popping in there and uh, it's really, really good to see them again. And it's really cool to start over again. I am deep conditioning once a week and doing a midweek kind of uh, co-wash. So that's what I have been doing. That's the update on my second Big Chop and also my personal review of Nature Made Hair Skin and Nails or just any hair skin and nail pills if you are curious about them. So thanks guys so much for watching. Go watch my other video about my second Big Chop and watch any other videos on this channel. I want to say hi to the new subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing and I hope you enjoy being a part of this family and uh, we just thank you so much for watching and as always enjoy where you're at and where you be. Bye.